In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an exclamation mark clip command with Streamlabs chatbot. My name is Tree, and I make extremely support videos. So me smarter, not harder. But before I begin, as remember Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European time on Twitch.tv slash Tree, feel free and hop in and ask anything. If you haven't set up Streamlabs chatbot yet, I have a video about how to connect it to your Twitch and your bot right here in the card above. I do recommend that you watch that video if you haven't set up that yet, because that's the first step and we're not going to explain that step further in this video. So we are at Streamlabs chatbot. We're going to click this away. Now we're going to go to commands and then click on this at the plus. We make the command called clip, exclamation mark clip. It doesn't cost any points and we're going to do the usage in stream chat. Make sure that it's on and make sure that there's nothing in this thing or the word general is also fine. We set the permission on everyone because we want everyone to be able to make clips, right? If you do not want that, if you only want your subscribers to be able to do that, set this on subscribers. Same with moderators and all the other rules. You can click them in here. We do not need anything for info because we have it on everyone. And then we have a cooldown here. I would recommend you set a cooldown of at least a minute. This way, if multiple people think, hey, this is fun to clip, you don't get multiple clips of this thing, but just one. Now as a response, we need to post an API. An API is sort of code. It helps you change the code into the thing you actually want to achieve, which for us is making a clip. To get this API, you need to go to the description of the video and go to the link. On that website, you need to authorize your Twitch. Then on this website, we search for Streamlabs chatbot. Sorry, I had to blur this all because if you guys see this, you can actually make clips with my channel, so I had to blur it. Then we copy the thing that is under Streamlabs chatbot. I copy it. And we go back to Streamlabs chatbot and paste it in the response. Then we click on submit. What we need to do is go back to console and now type exclamation mark clip and press enter. You should get a response for your bot from a tree bot that says can't clip for an offline channel. If you see that, you're good to go. Obviously, it can't clip right now because I'm not live and I'm not making content. When you're live, Please try it again, check it again to see if it works. It should be all fine, it should be all working. That's how simple it is to set it up actually. But I have more tutorials about Streamlabs Chatbot because it can be a bit intimidating at first, but with these tutorials, I make it really easy. So just hop into this playlist with me and I'll see you there.